Jeremy was a young boy with a promising future when his mom abandoned him and his younger sister Arya. He had to raise his sister all by himself, but what she did years later left him in great shock. While in high school, Sarah and Peter kindled a romance that burned brightly despite the doubts of others. They were young and headstrong, convinced that nothing could come between them. When Sarah discovered she was pregnant at the tender age of 18, they refused to let this unexpected turn of events extinguish their love. Though they had planned to embark on separate journeys to college, the baby's impending arrival forced them to rethink their future. With unwavering determination, Peter secured a job to support their growing family, while Sarah honed her skills as a household manager. When Sarah's due date arrived, she put to bed a bouncing baby boy that the couple named Jeremy. He was so adorable and melted their hearts the instant they held him in their arms. They loved their son and wanted the best for him. For so many years, the couple worked as a team and raised their son together. Sarah supported their household by working part-time jobs while Peter attended college so he could get his degree and get a better paying job. After Peter graduated from college, he landed an office job with a reputable company and was able to finally provide for his family with ease. Sarah stopped working so that she could focus on taking care of Jeremy and their home. On the surface, it seemed as if everything was working out for the family. But unbeknownst to them, big trouble was brewing. Jeremy was nine years old when his father started drinking. It happened because Peter was so stressed at work and he took to alcohol to relieve the stress. It got so bad that there were days he couldn't come home until after midnight and he would be so drunk that he wouldn't be able to walk straight. On many occasions, Sarah begged him many times to stop, but he wouldn't listen to her. There were days when he blamed her for his misery at work. He hated the office and according to him, if Sarah hadn't gotten pregnant, he'd have found other things he loved to do rather than this job that was driving him insane. Peter often said these cruel things to Sarah where he was drunk but when he wasn't, he was kind and caring. However, the bad times outweigh the good times, leaving Sarah devastated, lonely and filled with regrets. Jeremy noticed the tension and unhappiness at home and often tried to make it better. He made sure he seized every opportunity he got to show his parents how much he valued them and how their constant fights were affecting him. At school, Jeremy also excelled at his studies, often getting high scores in his tests and exams just to make his parents proud. Each time he came home with his test scores, he would promise his parents that he would become great so he could buy them a bigger house, give them lots of money so they wouldn't have to work again. Unfortunately, everything Jeremy did wasn't enough to keep his parents together. One day, he came home from school and found Sarah crying. He dropped his backpack and ran to her side. Mom, what's happening to you? Are you in pain? He asked nervously. Sarah shook her head and passed him a piece of paper. Jeremy couldn't believe his eyes when he read it. This is Dad's writing. Why is it saying that he is gone and won't be coming back? Jeremy asked, confused. In response, his mom shut her eyes and cried all the more. Jeremy ran up the stairs to his parents' room and went straight to his dad's wardrobe. And to his greatest shock, all of Peter's things were gone. Not a single thing was left in there. He completely cleaned out everything as if he'd never been there. Jeremy was shaken. How could his dad do this to them? He was furious. But when he heard his mom's cries getting louder, he ran downstairs to console her. Jeremy! What are we going to do now? Your father left us. We don't have enough money and I found out today that I'm pregnant. Sarah cried and hugged her son. Jeremy, who was only 12, was confused, scared and hurt. To find out under these unusual circumstances that he was going to be a big brother wasn't thrilling. To him, the timing of the baby was awful. Still, he promised his mom that he would be the best brother ever. A few days later, 
Sarah found a part-time job at a fast food restaurant and another as a cleaner at a factory. She juggled these two jobs, giving her best so she would be able to provide for her son and save up for the new baby she was expecting. Jeremy's unwavering support was truly remarkable. He embraced the idea of having a younger sibling with open arms and took proactive steps to prepare for the baby's arrival. After school, while his mother was away, Jeremy would take care of all the household chores. He even thought himself how to cook, ensuring that Sarah could come home to a hot meal, relax in the bath, and get a good night's sleep. Jeremy also went with his mother for her antenatal checkups. Although Sarah appreciated her son's efforts, she soon advised him that he was only a child, hence he should focus on his passions, rather than spending so much time looking after her. Jeremy heeded his mother's advice and got involved in soccer. He gave it all he had and soon became the best football player in the school. Even after his sister Arya was eventually born and he had to babysit her often, Jeremy still found a way to balance his schoolwork, soccer games and taking care of Arya. For a while, everything seemed to be going fine with this family of three until Sarah started acting out of place. She started coming home late at nights and would often bring a certain man to the house. Whenever the man came around, she would instruct Jeremy and his sister to hide in the kitchen and warn them not to come out until he was gone. The situation got worse when she began leaving the house for days and then one day she left and never returned. That day, Jeremy began to panic when it was getting very late and she still hadn't come home. He called her phone, but it was switched off. He took Arya with him to her workplace, and the people there said that she didn't come in for that day. Jeremy was distraught. He returned home with his sister, and then he went to his mom's bedroom to find clues. That's when he noticed that many of Sarah's things were missing. Her newer clothes and shoes, and all her jewelry, her traveling bags were gone too. On the mirror in the bathroom, she had also scribbled, I'm sorry, children, with lipstick. Frustrated, Jeremy screamed and punched the mirror, breaking the glass and hurting his hand. He didn't even feel any pain because his heart was hurting more. A few weeks ago, he had received an email that he had been accepted into his dream college on scholarship. His mom had even told him she was proud of him and that she would support him. So how could she just leave without thinking twice? When Jeremy heard Arya call his name, he tried to pull himself together. He wiped away the tears that were running down his face and tied a handkerchief around his fists so she wouldn't see the blood. Then he left the bathroom and closed the door. Arya stood at the doorway of the room and stared at him so innocently and sweetly that it suddenly became clear to him what he wanted to do. Jeremy promised himself that he would be there for his little sister. He wasn't going to be selfish like his parents. To fulfill this promise, Jeremy gave up going to college and found a job in carpentry that paid well. It was backbreaking on some days, but Jeremy didn't give up. He made enough money from it to support his sister and her dream to becoming a performer. Arya was quite talented in singing and dancing and always came in first place in talent shows. Jeremy paid for all her dance classes piano lessons and other instructors. He went to all of the competitions and performances she was part of and cheered for her as loudly as possible. However, what she did later left him in great shock. Arya's big break came when she was 19 years old. She released a single that became so popular it topped the Billboard charts. Eventually, she got nominated as the best upcoming artist by one of the most prestigious significant awards in the music industry worldwide. She brought her brother along as her date as she was so proud to show him off. That same night, Arya won the award for the best new artist. When she got on the stage to give a speech, she was in tears as she recounted how her brother, Jeremy, gave up his dreams to support hers. She acknowledged the fact that without him, she wouldn't be standing there and receiving such an honor. It was such an emotional speech that there were no dried eyes in the hall that night. Jeremy also couldn't hold back his tears. He knew his sister loved him, but
but until that moment, he didn't know the extent of her love and admiration for him. Arya went on to have many more successes. She became so rich and sponsored Jeremy's college studies. Jeremy later became a successful sports commentator, all thanks to his sister. The siblings were happy and prosperous. So what happened to Sarah? Well, she got dumped by the man she left her kids for. She eventually reached out to her children, but they told her they had no mother, as the one they knew died a long time ago. What do you think about this story? Thank you for watching and see you next time.